But God's call is to assignments, men, that you cannot accomplish alone. Those are assignments where we think that we don't have the time, the resources, or the skills. And, and really, if you think about it, those crises, those are moments where we really doubt that God will join us. Okay, God, I heard you say this. I really want to do this, but I don't really think you're in it with me. Right? We had those thoughts. They're the doubts. They're the moments of crises. I mean, Moses expressed a crisis of belief through a series of questions to God when he said, Who am I that I should approach the Pharaoh? Right? Questioning, having a doubt. What should I tell? Who should I tell the Pharaoh send? send, send who should I tell the Pharaoh is sending? Says, who sends me? Well, wait, what if the Pharaoh doesn't believe me? Oh, I'm just not a good speaker. I'm not an eloquent speaker. I got send someone else. I'm not qualified. Right? We try to disqualify ourselves all the time in a crisis of belief. We come up with a list of reasons that we can't do it. And interestingly enough, if you think back, if you were at our retreat last year, and we talked about the enemy and spiritual warfare, we get disqualified in areas where we've been wounded in our life. And those wounds the enemy has sent to those places that are our gifts and our talents. And he works at that to disqualify us so when God invites us, into those moments and into those callings, the enemy's already done his work to say, you can't do it. You've messed up before. You don't have the skills to do that. You don't have the financial resources to do it. It's not the right time for you to do that. You don't have the time for, you, for, for this to be done. I mean, that's what makes up a crisis of belief. And here's the thing. Biblical faith, real faith, faith in our God, requires obedience through action. Faith, real faith, biblical faith in God requires obedience through action. We have to follow through. Those uh, superhero sort of figures, right? They're rallied there to, to say, yeah, you know what? We, we believe we can do it. We've got to follow through. We've got to take the next steps. James says, what good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? I mean, our crisis of belief is often embedded in this, this, this great doubt that we have about God's, uh, God's power. And so most of us, most Christians, uh, we build a life on what we think we can accomplish and not really on a faith of what God can accomplish through us. And therefore, we never really enter the battle. We never really pick up our sword. We never engage in that difficult conversation with our son or daughter or our spouse. Maybe our parent, whoever it might be. We, 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 we doubt that God will come and help us. We doubt that he will be there for us. We doubt all kinds of things. And it's not just a doubting of us, but it's a doubting of him. We, the church, us individuals, we, we default to that safety mode, right? Of past experience where, you know, we are just remain here, comfortable, things are okay. Um, rather than <clears throat> extending ourselves. Rather than pushing ourselves, rather than going out to places where, where we know alone we can't do it, but we can when God is with us. You know, these crisis decisions, these moments, they really expose what you and I truly believe about God's power, do they not? Mm -hmm. I mean, when, when you think about it, what we're really doing <clears throat> is we're given a, a measurement to how powerful and what authority our God really has. And so often sometimes we'll think, well, he's not in it with me. I don't have this connection with God. He's not going to be there for me. He's, he's distant. He's not concerned. Remember we went through those things about God's nature? He's personal. He's a good father. He's always at work. He's always there. You, you know, when, when we know that he's actively engaged in seeking a love relationship with him, right, we have no choice but to act in faith. And if we don't choose to act in faith, we're showing our lack of faith in God's power. 